Hi, this is Mr. Estabrooks with another Autodesk Inventor video. Uh, today we're going to take the uh, presentation exploded view that we created in the earlier video along with our assembly and uh, we're going to make the uh, what I call the bill of materials or parts list drawing. So this is where we're headed and I'll walk you through that process. First we want to start a new drawing. Uh, we have a custom template for our school for a size drawings. So it prompts us for the part name. Uh, I'm just going to put B O M bill of materials drawing author here's where we always put our name I like to use first initial last name and then the scale this is not a scale drawing this is just a presentation drawing uh, so we're gonna put not applicable n slash a for both scale and units because we're not putting any dimensions on here and it's not designed for uh, somebody to read the measurements off of so our new drawing um, will start out like this and we're going to place, unlike our uh, detailed multi-view drawings, we're going to have three individual base views. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that we pick uh, the same orientation uh, from our assembly as our um, exploded view. So that's the front, front top right side view that I used in my uh, um, presentation or exploded view and notice it came in uh, uncolored so I double click on that view and that brings up uh, this dialog box here I just click here that'll make it shaded also we want we don't want to show hidden lines on isometric views it's just confusing because this is this drawing is for someone who's not necessarily uh, technically inclined and the hidden lines will just confuse things so there's our first view we're going to place two more views we're going to use the presentation uh, exploded view that we created earlier that I showed you in an earlier video. Now here's where we're just going to pick a scale that looks good. Now you can click and drag or uh, select a scale over here and again make sure you pick the um, shaded colored button and um, then we'll put in uh, a second assembly view but this time I want to be able to show the uh, bottom left rear so starting with this I sh click uh, hold the shift key down and click the mouse wheel just rotate it around like that and then pick the corner there that'll be the isometric view showing the bottom left rear we'll keep that a little smaller right click OK oh yeah I forgot to make sure that's shaded too that always looks nice now here's where we want to put in the parts list under uh, annotate you see a button here that says parts list and uh, we're going to just select the view that we want the parts list of. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, where are we? Annotate parts list. There we go. Pick the wrong button. Um, so that's going to ask us to choose uh, which file do we want to select the parts list from. So there's my assembly. OK. And you can pretty much leave all this the way it is. Click OK. Drag it in there. Now, if you named your parts blue, red, green, you know, appropriately, then you won't really need this col uh, description column. So if we click up here, we can remove the description column. And uh, one annoying thing is that it moves over there. I just have to click and drag it back into that left corner. And the last thing we need is uh, those balloons that tell us which part is which. So I select the balloon button, just touch the part. Now we want to left click, then right click, and then click continue then choose the next part left click then right click then continue now these leader lines we want to make sure are uh, at an angle leader lines should your dimensioning guidelines say that leader lines should not be horizontal or vertical so we don't want to come out like this because that's confusing left click right click continue and there we have it and that's your completed uh, bill of materials or parts list drawing this is Mr. Estabrooks thanks for watching